welcome to the Preemptive Strike spoiler cast for Avengers Infinity War. Uh, we're going to see you next year for this one also, but it's a, it's a two-parter, essentially, right? Hmm. Um, I am Bane. You've heard me, you've seen me, I've been here for a while. And then we got Kaneki. Oh, uh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Oh. Then we have Reapers. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, just so everybody knows, there are going to be spoilers in here. If you came in here thinking there was no spoilers in the spoiler cast, you are uh, off in pain. So, yeah, you, you, you should have read the title. And just, yeah. This is going to be very spoiler heavy. Just looking at the doc already. Then we have Drillbit. Yo. Man, there's a lot to talk about this one. Surprising. Oh, hell yeah. And then we have our host for tonight, Renegade Operative. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, a lot of people die in this movie. A fucking lot of people, so let's get into it. Yeah, you know, what's kind of funny is that Mark Ruffalo spoiled that over a year ago. Hold on, and they say Marvels didn't have the balls. Can you believe that? Uh, that is I, completely I, infactual. I knew uh, they had balls. I did not imagine how many balls they had. Yeah, uh, they, they had a lot, uh, according to this movie. No, I, they have a feeling Avengers 4 is going to do something. They need a wheelbarrow at this rate. That's how many balls they have. No, they need a shop lot. bag for the dust. They have, they have a lot, according to this movie. Well, it'd, be suck, it'd suck if anyone had allergies. Right. <laughs> Allegra D will sell a lot because of uh, this universe, but that's not the point. All right, so before the cast turns into dust, let's get into it with the first question. Uh, what were your thoughts about Doctor Strange's plan in Avengers Affinity War? Um, okay, so the plan was he looked and saw like a million outcomes, right? I think it was like four million. And they only won once, which ties into the fact that Doctor Strange gives Tony, well, not Tony. What, what am I thinking of Tony for? Uh, Tony gets body. He gives <laughs> Thanos the time stone, and then he says to Tony that, oh, this was the only way before he fades away. So I assume that they have to win by losing. That's why he gave him the time stone, because that's going to be pertinent for Captain Marvel to come to Earth. Oh, I was, I was wrong with that. It was 14 million futures. God damn! Damn, they yeah. so, they lose a lot so, of shit. So basically, their chances are like zero, zero, zero point one, or probably lower than that. This yep. is a Nat's foreskin level of like probability here. And they're going with that one percent according to this movie. So thoughts on the plan itself and where it might lead to the next movie of Thanos losing? I think uh, Captain Marvel, she's going to come in and body his ass because she did get that signal, so I think that's oh, what's yeah. going to happen. I agree. Hmm. Yeah, unless Thanos can somehow use the Infinity Gauntlet again. Yeah, it looked uh, like broken or, or melted off or something. The gauntlet, was, the gauntlet was broken, but all the stones on the inside were just fine. So he I probably think... just overused it then. No, yeah. I think he could still use it because he vamped out of there using the space stone. Yeah, he did. It's cooling down, don't worry. Um, I think Strange's plan is very intriguing because it seemingly had to involve him not telling anyone else the plan. Otherwise, it would have been fucked. Or else it would have changed the future. Yeah. Yeah. So, his his hope is that by doing this, the course of the universe will shape itself to where they will win. And yeah. the weird thing is, win does not necessarily mean any of these people will be back or be alive that's what you gotta think of yeah they had to like <laughs> he had to wipe half the universe in order to see what the fuck he was doing so uh, I think it's gonna be an interesting setup because you're going into the next movie with a heavy heart and then you're going to see all the remaining heroes and how they fight Thanos and that's going to be very interesting because Ant-Man and Hawkeye got benched in this movie, which I didn't like. 
Uh, but I can understand I, this movie had a lot of characters, so maybe they couldn't focus on these characters in particular. Well, now I can understand probably why Hawkeye was benched and why, uh, with you know, obviously half of you know half the universe dying. I'm pretty sure his wife and kids are probably in there somewhere. Yep, that's what but I think. It's a vengeance plan. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's probably how they're gonna segue to Hawkeye being in Avengers War. Especially because he has his uh, Ronin outfit in that one, so. So they're going to use that phrase that Thor used in fucking Ragnarok. Uh, we're called the Revengers, essentially. I, yeah, that and um, the line from the first one, if uh, if we can't save Earth, we'll sure as hell avenge it. Mm-hmm. So will we see Ant-Man in the next Avengers movie? Uh... We're supposed to. For I, sure. I hope so. Because I, I know they, they didn't kill him off either. I do have a theory what's going to happen at Ant Man, the end of Ant Man and the Wasp. Shoot. What's going to happen is that what's going to happen is like Scott's family and probably Wasp are going to turn into dust and then the, and then he sees what's happening on TV and has to join the Avengers to stop Thanos. Someone said that they can be totally fine if they were in the quantum realm. Yeah. And that was in Ant-Man 1, I believe, where he and was And it's in... going to be in Ant-Man 2. Yeah, he it's... was in a subatomic space, and he couldn't get affected by time or events that happened. Uh, So, I don't know. He might just be chilling in there until the next movie. Oh, with his family? Hmm? Yeah. Um... I think so. They they just um they just announced that they cast a new girl to play Cassandra Lang. His also. daughter, right? Yeah. Well she's already played in the film, but there's um She's older. Yeah, I'm trying to find who the actress is. Um I know that there was well, I'll save it for the Avengers four question because uh I know there was some stuff going on with time travel, but I'm gonna save it for that. I get that. Uh, but yeah, they, they cast um, an older actress named Emma Furman um, for this, and I, I think that's intriguing to see what the hell's going to happen there. Mm-hmm. So anyway, this girl's about um, six years older, so I don't know where we're going to see like what's going to happen with time in this film, but uh, I think it's interesting. So Reapers, what about you? When it comes to what I think about the. Uh... Plan. Plan. Yeah, and then uh, Kaneki can go out there. I was, when I saw the ending, I was pretty sure that I had people that went with me and they were like, oh, you know, the you know, did they win? Did that plan fuck up? And I was like, no, I'm pretty sure that people were supposed to die a- in order for the win to happen. So I'm guessing uh, they need Captain Marvel to save the day because she's really OP. That's just what I'm guessing. So Three same, powers, fam. Yeah, that's why uh, I guess uh, he told Stark, oh, you know, it was the only way. That's my guess. What about you, Kaneki? Well, I would have to agree with Reapers, especially uh, considering that people think uh, Spider-Man is, like, done, which I doubt it, because mm-hmm. he's getting another movie. No fucking way, when... Unless when the, twist no, no. Is, the twist is it's Miles Morales instead. Nah, I, I don't uh, see that happening. That'd be too early, don't you think? Yeah. It seems too early to kill him like that, so... I mean, even yeah. even Black Panther and the Guardians, like, melted. As soon as I saw that, I'm like, hold on, fam. They have sequels coming out. Well, How? Ro- Ro- Rocket's well, still there, so it could be a Rocket's all over me. Well, no, you also have the, the old Guardians, so, like, the ones we're showing at the end of, uh, 2. I, I don't know. I, I, I think they already went with the mainstream guardians so i don't see them introducing like all those old characters unless maybe it's a reference because i mean even guardians 2 had fucking david hasselhoff for some reason i don't know why uh david hasselhoff is god man he's definitely god in that movie but i (laughs) i just don't know they could go in any direction with this they're they're going they're getting a third movie so they're gonna come back i I guarantee you they're coming back same for black panther yeah, yeah. yeah. So they're not well, going to have to What if Spider-Man dies, right? And then yeah. he gets rebooted into the Sony Spider-Man universe. <laughs> no. Oh, God damn it. Uh, that'd be the biggest L for Marvel and Sony. <laughs> oh, God. That, uh, you know, the sad thing is, I can see that fucking happening. Sony pictures, folks. 
Yeah. Movie, um, their movie division do not support. But Ugh. yeah, I don't expect them to do anything crazy like Miles Morales or replace the Guardians cast. The fuck? Yeah. I would never replace the Guardians cast. All right, and before, so. And before they leave Batista dead and replace <laughs> with a new actor. He's the best fucking character. Re replace him with John Cena. <laughs> no! Oh! <laughs> oh, my uh, God. We need to. I had to see what the reaction for that would be. No. He's oh. he's going to ruin fucking Duke Nukem. Let's move on to question two. That is fact. That is fact. Eh, I mean, he's a better choice than most for that role, but. The, the, yeah. acting, is, the acting is the most important. Okay, fair enough. So let's uh, move on. Yeah. All right. Number two, who's going to take it and read it? I'll read it. Uh, who was your favorite and least favorite character in the movie? Honestly, I got... No, I only got one favorite character, and I think Ren's going to know, know about this. Th uh, Thor, because they actually made the character, you know... He's, I feel like he... He's very likable. Yeah, he's yeah. very likable. He actually had good jokes in it. Like, he, well, it wasn't too forced or something like that. Like, I liked how he kept calling Rocket a rabbit. Yeah, that was actually pretty funny. <laughs> oh man, that shit is so funny when he was on the ship for the Guardians and he's like, oh, good, good luck, morons. And he actually had, in my opinion, like more character development in this movie. Like, I, I was with this character. Like, I could feel the development. And I went forward with Thor. Like I was cheering him on. Is it weird that? Is it weird that I like Thor more than his original three movies? No, I actually like him in this one. He has changed a lot since the first one. Since he was kind of a, since in the first one he was pretty self-absorbed. Yeah, maybe even a proper arc. I think. Yeah, I mean, I mean, to think about it, the first scene is him seeing his own brother die. And then wanting to get revenge on Thanos. That that was development. That was good. Good way to develop Thor. <laughs> At the end of the day, part of it is Thor's story. Oh man. What about you, Ren? Favorite character. Um I don't have a least favorite character yet, so you can go. Me neither. I, I will say Thanos. Thanos was really good i i would say out of the entire movie he got the most development because you get to see him go and completely destroy shit and try to balance the universe and the avengers they just cannot go toe to toe when he was beating the hulk's ass i was like oh oh my god that was yeah, amazing he, he beat him without the gauntlet he made yeah. him look like a chump. <laughs> yeah, I was like, he he boxed the living hell out of the Hulk. Dude, I'll tell you this out of this movie. He's my, uh, Thanos is my favorite villain out of all the MCU movies. That is a question later on, but I have to yeah, agree. Yeah, we'll get to that. Well, yeah. well, yeah, we'll get to that, yeah. I, I definitely have to agree. Like he was the most fleshed out character, and also the stuff with Gamora. I, I thought that father to daughter relationship mm -hmm. fleshed out the character a lot more than I remember. It was really good. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, they put effort in this movie, and I don't blame them when they earned that one billion box office. They did a good job. And yeah, like, one billion yeah. in eleven days. It, it took God. ten. It took ten years of build up, though. There's no way you could have introduced this many characters in one film at once. And they succeed. So Justice League got pissed on, literally. Oh, you mean the DCEU? Justice League. Hang on, Justice League got pissed on in its first three fucking days. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I know, but like the domestic return is awful for that movie. The it, is, lo it, it lost. That movie's got a brothers. lot of different problems it, it, yeah. lost, it lost warner brothers around 70 million i just think the problem was that the movie isn't all as cracked up to be so no and that was the thing they said it was decent but then all of a sudden they said oh well it's actually not what justice League was supposed to be i'm like oh and then so it, it got was a rushed. disappointment it got rushed yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, that's probably a topic for another time yeah that's true and uh, it took a what no, you go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, um, did Bane go yet? Uh, I haven't. I was gonna say, favorite character in this movie was probably... I'd say Spider-Man. I felt like it was interesting seeing him with these other characters and watching yeah. him 
kind of especially work with the you know uh, guardians. I, I I I I loved his character. I think he was pretty solid. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like Spider Man wasn't a total jobber. He got bopped a lot. Yeah, but I mean, especially the aliens reference. <laughs> Well, yeah, I do. I will admit he did help out Tony there. Okay, I have All to right. correct you. The biggest jobber in this movie is Vision. He does oh, definitely. Vision what? is written just to be jobbed in this film. Yeah, like he got like those two aliens were kicking his ass until like Captain America and Black Widow showed up. He got Vision. stabbed once, and that was it. Vision is the damsel in distress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. And I like how Infinity Stone. You know, I, I like how Spider Man made a joke say, like, "Okay, so we use so we use makeup thing now." I'm Spider Man. <laughs> oh, we're names. we're going with our hero names. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think my favorite character in the movie was Loki. Uh, I think he got his neck snap pretty good. Uh, <laughs> good. That was pretty good. I can't. I, I can't wait to find out how he's not dead this time. Oh, if he's the one fucking character who's not dead. Nah, I mean, I, in, in all honesty, I want to say it's kind of, I think Star Lord was somebody that I really liked. I just have seeing him like talk to uh, Tony, and uh, uh, Doctor I Strange mean, was cool. I, I liked Star Lord up until he fucked up their plan. Yeah, but you know, you got to kind of. It, it's he, reasonable he why he freaked out, but yeah. I mean, he I did. Think... Thanos did kill his girlfriend, so yeah, I could see it. That's why I'm not too mad, but at the same time, he no. did mess it up, so... But I can see why. I mean, he just killed his girl. He's like, how is he going to react? Yeah. He's going to beat his ass. Yeah, he locked. He lost control. And he blacked out. Oh, yeah. I actually, I actually which, like... I'm sorry, go ahead. I would say, which is actually interesting. That scene is a parallel of a scene where um, uh, Captain America is trying to hold Iron Man from killing Bucky after he yeah. saw the videotape. Yeah. That's a yeah, very interesting, like, that. same directors, but I also thought it was just a very interesting, like, oh, hey, now you're in the same position. Hold on, I think I actually like uh, Tony Stark in this movie based just because he made a SpongeBob reference. <laughs> oh god, yeah. <laughs> look, look, Squidward. Shut up, Squidward. Right. Yeah, like, I like how he was like he doesn't fuck around with the villains. Nope. <clears throat> Uh, are we on the next question? Or? Well, I haven't said mine yet. Oh, my bad. I guess I'll go with Kaneki. I guess my favorite character is Thor. It's mainly because, of, like I said, it feels like most of the focus of the movie is on him. You get to see him change throughout the film and even fuck up the thing that was pretty bad. If only, yeah. he, aimed, if only he aimed for the head. A little higher. A little fucking yeah. higher. Yeah, or at least went for his arm. <laughs> but yeah I don't know like I still like Star Lord but it is understandable why he kind of freaked out he's funny everything he said made me laugh yeah surprisingly he does have good chemistry with the other characters yeah kind of wish they hung out a lot more but I understand that the movie yeah. had to kind of go fast and go through and then he, and, and then he bit the dust uh Anyways, what's the next question? Um, um, let's see. That's number three. Uh, what did you think about the impact of Thanos during Infinity War? A lot of MCU fans deem him as the best MCU villain of all time. Uh, I have to agree. He's he's definitely for what he did. Like, there's nobody else in the MCU that killed half the universe and the heroes. Yeah. Yeah, he got a lot farther than Ultron did for sure. Yeah, yeah Ultron, Ultron just lifted a city up and was like, "Hey, this is fun." I'm gonna lift the rock and put it down on the planet and oh. kill like half the population, but not almost everyone. I don't oh, know. Well, he... Thanos was weird, and I think that guy, Yellow Jacket, in Ant Man was kind of just meh. But the faces he made were incredible. Oh, uh, Corey yeah. Stoll? Yeah, he's fucking great with that. He's, yeah, like he just masturbated into a cup, I don't know. Uh, what? He... <laughs> I don't know, that's how he looks when he flushed that guy down the toilet. Yeah, lunch. 
Yeah, and then he got mate, and then he and then he went inside out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um. Per- personally, villain wise, I, I, Thanos is really great. I think as a villain, I enjoy the most. I'd say I liked Vulture a lot, but Thanos, it, like in terms of sheer like power, is miles ahead of Vulture. I don't know why I keep forgetting about Vulture. He was pretty good, but yeah, I he, guess he was a say... very intimidating villain. But more personal, like small scale kind of thing. Yeah, when he's like, "Spider Man, you date my daughter?" Oh no, you, you, you Oh can't... god, that whole fucking scene was great. Yeah, it was pretty. It was keeping me at the edge of my seat. Yeah, he's like, "Do you know? Does she know? I'll, I'll kill you. I, I really will." <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Oh man, I actually like that movie. Oh yeah. 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 It was Home pretty good. It was. it was good. One side. It was way better than the Amazing Spider-Man films. That is fact. That is but, miles fact. Then again, that's not a hard, like, that's not hard to beat. The first one's okay, and then Amazing Spider-Man 2 exists, sadly. Yeah, yeah. Just like just like the Halloween films by Rob Zombie. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing Spider-Man 2 is pretty much a product of Sony meddling too much. Yeah, hey, remember that movie that, like, killed our last franchise that had three villains at once? Yeah, it's had three villains at once again. Oh, man. Yeah. Um? Um, I think that <clears throat> Thanos did uh, pose a big impact, because Thanos, in my opinion, is the only character so far that has shown, dom- like, <laughs> extreme dominance over everybody, uh, which is kind of obvious it was going to happen, but Jesus. The fact that he scared Thor, uh, not Thor, he scared the Hulk into the David Banner's body and refused to come out because he did not want to fight Thanos is pretty crazy. Just, just the thought of, you know, just a hulking beast and <laughs> being afraid uh, of another person and to the point where, you know, it's tucked his tail in and ran away. That's crazy. And it's, you know, this villain just made a lot of people feel things at the end of the movie. So, you know, I'm not a lot yeah. of movies uh, can say that. I think uh, I think Star Wars, I think they can say. I think there was one Star Wars that where the bad guys went and people felt the way about it. I'm not yeah. sure which one it is, but yeah, I feel like Thanos, in my opinion, uh, oh. is one of the best uh, villains out there. Yeah. What pretty much sums up Thanos is that scene where he's trying to walk the vision, and then all the uh, all the Avengers are trying to stop him, and they, he just pretty much just beats them up all easily. Yeah, yeah, they ain't gonna stop Thanos. No, why do you think I mean, Captain Marvel's gonna be the one to stop? Man, like Black Panther can't stop him. Captain America can't nope. stop him. Not Black Widow or Thor almost did it, but you know we, we all know what best. Happened. Yeah, I think Thor could have killed him, to be honest, if he came yeah, for he the could've. head, but yeah. Yeah. He did mortally wound him, but even then, it wasn't enough. Ah, he could just go back in time and heal himself. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, that was the best part of the movie, where he oh, he went back in time, this. and he got vision, and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of saw that coming, considering the Time Stone's powers. Yeah. And like Scarlet Witch was like, "What the fuck? I I just killed you, nigga." <laughs> okay, now uh, Th- Th- you know Thanos killed him again. Um, uh, how does the ending factor? Uh, it depends. Oh, oh, to the TV shows. Jesus, Reaper, um, you, you skipped the question. I, I oh, I saw we undermined <laughs> three. So oh. yeah, if you haven't done three yet, yeah, we. we... Oh, all right, we're still on three. Yeah, Oops. we're still on there. Yep. My bad. All right. I already did it. You guys are ready. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, I think that's it. Thanos is the best. Um, there are some villains that come close, but in terms of what he did, I think he's the most intimidating when it comes to what he does, which is exterminate half the universe. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I can't wait to see what he does in Avengers 4 because there was that piece of text that said Thanos will return, so... Uh yeah, yes. I just think he's gonna get bodied by Captain Marvel. That's that's gonna be a thing. Can't wait for I don't that. think it's just gonna be that, but I think there's gonna be a lot of bodying. Oh yeah, of course, of course. I'm still curious if 
people will still die in the next movie they should i mean because there's that line that thor says about loki where he's like i don't know if my brother's coming back because he died before but it seems permanent now so i don't know yeah. if some people are gonna stay dead this time around they probably should unless they're gonna uh, dragon ball z it and just wish everybody back oh yeah I, I see some people coming back, but I do think that permadeath should be a thing. Well, as long as Spider Man comes back, I don't care. Oh, of course, they can't. No way. No <laughs> it's way. It's weird, though, because like, the directors are saying, oh, no, you know, these, this is permanent, but, you know, they could just be saying that. I don't so, know. Like I, I don't know. Miles Morales. Uh, well, it's, it's too uh, early. I, I have to agree it's early. I would like it, but it's just way too early. Mm hmm. All right, so I think we're moving on to uh, number four. So who wants to read that? I'll take it since uh, I, I stumbled upon it. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, considering the ending where everybody, everyone literally dies, how do you think the actions of Thanos snap will factor into the MCU in its entirety, which also counts for TV shows? Uh, I think it would be really cool if they do implement them, even though it, it did start with uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but imagine, you know, you're watching the Netflix shows and you're like, okay, once you reach the end of each show, you have to, you find out if this character is going to be there or if it's going to go poof. I think that's going to be really interesting. Uh, what do you guys think? Please don't read the chat. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, we have somebody new to introduce, don't we, Ren? Yes. Mr. Ebola Evan. <laughs> hold on, let me hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're on question. I think this is four. We're talking about the consequences of the Dino Snap. Um, I think that it's cool that they're talking about it now because one thing I don't like about the Netflix shows is that their consequences are still rooted in Avengers One. So. Every time there's a reference, they talk about, oh, the aliens came down and fucked our shit up. I'm like, okay, but we're in three movies deep and the age of Ultron and fucking Infinity War happened. And now it's like, why are you guys talking about the first movie when half the universe got annihilated? So yeah. that's one thing I don't like. They need to fix that because it doesn't feel connected as much as I thought anymore. Yeah. That sort of, but yeah, it would be nice if they at least acknowledged it in the shows, or mainly because I feel like they're not really that well, well, they don't feel as well connected as they should be, considering that it's all in New York, and it feels kind of weird that they haven't run into each other at some point, or at least mentioned them. Right. But yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with Punisher, with, with the next season of Punisher, Luke Cage. Yeah. I honestly got no answer for that, so you can skip me. My my question is, uh, if you guys had to take a guess, uh, which Netflix slash TV character you think is gonna be in or gonna poof if that if they were gonna implement that? Um, hmm. Night Nurse. Hmm. Really? No, that's the slut. <laughs> I yeah. mean, that's I, I can't lie. That's true, but like, the only. <laughs> Okay, it's what I... I want. Well, no more healing for any of the heroes, so scratch that out. Luke Cage doesn't yep. need it unless this one bolt's coming into play. They need, they need the entire Inhumans cast to turn to dust. Yeah, who? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. I get that reference. I understood that reference. <laughs> oh, do you? Yes, I do. Um, who's gonna die? Uh, they won't kill the main ones, so I assume side characters like Night Nurse, maybe people like uh, who's that bitch on Daredevil? The blonde chick, I forget. Ah, her name escapes me. But uh, Karen, Karen Page, I yeah. think she might go. Who knows? Uh, just a lot of the people helping out the heroes in that show might go. I, I think he was talking about the bitch that's always there with his Netflix shows. Um. <laughs> No. What's her name? They that one they that one lady in Luke Cage, the one that the the one that always tries to escape. Hmm. I don't remember yeah. her. That'd be yeah. fucked up if the Punisher's uh, family were like, Hey, we're alive and then they poofed. 
<laughs> you'd go on a, you'd, you'd say that's it. I'm, I'm gonna kill Thanos. Sorry, what's the question? Um, we are on. You need to document, by the way. We are on a uh, question number four. Where um, what are our thoughts on the shows mm. being affected by the finger snap? Uh, poor Thomas the Tank Engine. They're gonna lose Percy. <laughs> right. Rip. Uh, but yeah, as I said, I think just side characters are going to die. That's it. I mean, I mean, would Ghost Rider be affected considering he's not exactly human? He is on Agents of Shield, so I don't know. Probably. They need to bring Loki back. He was the main hero. He's, didn't people say Ghost Rider? Didn't people say Ghost Rider in that show was disappointing? I think they did, but a lot of people liked him, so that's kind of weird. I like him. I like them better than the Nick Cage version, that's for sure. Oh, that's it's comical. Car. Everybody loves the car. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it's better than the bike. All right. Uh, so Bane is gonna take off for a bit. Yeah. So I'll be, I'll be back before the end. I promise. All right. Uh, so yeah. is everyone finished with question number four? Yes. Yeah. All right. So I guess I can move on to five. So which death shocked you the most in this movie? Uh, Spider Man. Oh, Spider Man. Second, second year, Spider Man. It's Spider Man just because they had him beg for his life at the end. I, I was like, damn. Yeah, I, he would be. I, I honestly thought he'd be the one character that wouldn't die, but nope. Yeah, Loki thought, was like, he got choked out, and yeah, then he Loki tried to was stab. That's my best hero. He, he tried to stab Thanos and be slick, and he's like, nope, I'm gonna catch I that. I think no. they're gonna roll reverse that because that seemed way out of character for Loki. He usually has everything planned and shit, and that just seemed fake. I, 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 come back. I, I guess it's about that, a cosmic being. Yeah, I guess yes. it's that weird thing where it's like they wanted to show that Loki care for Thor because at first he's like, you know, go kill him. I, I don't care. Then when he saw Thor was about to get his head blown off, he's like, oh, just stop. I'll, I'll, I'll do what you ask. I, had a, I have a yeah. side question after you guys are done with this. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Ren, who's that? I didn't watch Ragnarok yet. Who's the uh, chick that's with Thor? Valkyrie? Yeah, what's 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 the deal with her? Because I kept saying after I saw the movie, like, oh, you know, Valkyrie's role and blah, 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 and shit like that. Um, supposedly, there were some people that escaped the ship that Thor was on and escaped pods before he got on board. So they're saying that her, Korg, and some Asgardians got away. But everyone there uh, probably died. Gotcha. Yeah. I lost my ass off and a whole cut the shit out of him. Dude, that was, I was talking about that earlier. I was like, geez, we all know the Hulk in this universe to be like unstoppable. So to see him get his He got ass, his ass beat so hard, he won't even come out. Yeah, I was yeah. saying that too. Like, I mean, isn't the Hulk supposed to have unlimited strength the more he gets angry? Yes. Yes. I guess his rage just got shut off and turned into fear. Yep. Because he got laid turned out. Turned into a little bit. I, I yeah, like, like to say that on the trailers, like, you see the Hulk running with the Avengers, and in this movie, he doesn't show up again at all. Maybe it's something they just scrapped. Probably, or maybe they're saving it for Avengers 4, where he's not so much a little bitch anymore. I don't know. I mean, I was expecting Hulk to pump out during that fight in Wakanda. That's what he said. His whole lines. No. Yeah. No! Hulk will not smash. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess the only other character that shocked me who died is probably Gamora. I mean, mm. I thought Thanos would have kept her alive for more. No, that was expected. As, to me, as soon as Thanos started crying, I knew what the deal was. It was oh. it was kind of obvious. Yeah, I was shocked when Red Skull popped up. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot. Oh, yeah. Like sure. I was wondering where the hell you been. You like got teleported somewhere after Cap One. I guess that's where he got teleported to. Yep. And now hell? he's like the Grim Reaper or some shit. Yeah, that's interesting. You want to know my theory? Go on. Yeah. You know how um, Gamora or the the weird girl and then Drax. They got turned into stone and string because of the reality stone. Yeah. 
Yeah, what if it what if everyone turning to dust was just basically all the work of the reality stone and they can all be brought back instantly? Oh my god, that would be such a cop out in my opinion. I could see that honestly happening. It it could happen, but it would be so weird. Yeah, nah, they do it. They're too much of a bitch to pull through. I mean, I could see them like resetting the whole universe or something like that. They too much of a bitch. Over. <laughs> the reality stone to just make every uh, make the people come alive in a different reality. But, I mean that that would give them an excuse to segue X Men. I think that time stone is gonna be like on point next movie, and then what's gonna happen is everyone will get Deus Ex Machina or something like that. You think well, they're gonna go back off. in time? Yeah, go back in time. No, I I don't think so because then uh, they could have just gone back in time and. <laughs> Uh, grabbed the stones and collected them. Uh, that's the thing, like, Dr. That's Strange... Yeah, Dr. Strange said that they couldn't win, but he went back in time before, so it's so fucking weird. He couldn't have warned the Avengers back then. It's so maybe, weird. Maybe, maybe the other luck. Infinity Stones boost one another when they're brought together, so then they would have the power to do more. Maybe. Probably, but they need the gauntlet, so a good Yo, luck I getting that off. my ass off, though. Yeah. I left my ass I mean, I left. I mean, you see what happens when Star Lord tried to use the Power Stone without a gauntlet. Almost he almost him. almost died. Uh, Yo, but... I laughed my motherfucker. <laughs> I was gonna say, Mister Evan, continue. All right, so I laughed my ass completely off when I saw Thanos grinning at Crimson or whatever that red-haired girl is named. All right when he just brought Marvel Vision back to life just to crush his ass again. You mean Wanda? Yeah, Wanda Wanda and Cosmo, Tim Fairy Alden parent. Whatever. Scarlet Witch. Yeah, that was yeah. funny. I said that earlier. He was like, ha, nope, bitch. Damn. <laughs> it was just rubbing salt on the wound. Um, alright, so I think shocking death, is that it for everyone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're I good. cried a little when Loki died. My favorite man. Yeah. Yeah. I bet you did. That was like in five seconds. It it just didn't last too long in my opinion. But I think they tried to illustrate that. Yes, Thanos is here. He's trying to get the job done, and the movie just jumps right into it. Um. The Asgardians the Asgardian held the loaf. Yes, they did. Uh, so number five, I mean, not number five, I gotta mark that off, but number six, uh, considering how Infinity War teams up the characters with different pairings across the universe, what pairing did you enjoy seeing? Uh, Thor and Rock. That's, that's a good one. I would say. Little Rabbit. Yeah, I would say Tony <clears throat> Stark and Doctor Strange was. Oh, Robert. I was gonna say that. that. Remember, he called the villain Swivel. Oh yeah, he Squidward. did. Yeah. Uh, Shut up, Squidward. And then I think another good pairing was um, Thor and the Guardians in general. They just had really good chemistry with the jokes and everything, so I really fucking like that. Yep. I yeah. like when Mr. Star was trying to show off in front of Thor. Oh yeah, he impersonated his voice. It's like you know, um, I I have the same voice as you. No, you're impersonating me. It's like <laughs> that scene is just absolutely great. Man, I like yeah, how they're like finding out he's lying. Yeah, when Drax he's points out that uh, Star is a dude and Thor is a man. Yeah, why were they yeah. like feeling Thor up? I was like, what's going on? What the fuck? I mean, have you seen this man? I, I... He's a man. He's apparently a pirate mixed with an angel and a baby, according to the movie. The sexy man. Oh, there you they've go. Been, they've been hanging around Quill for so long that it's refreshing they to see other guy. They're like Thor's the peak of male perfection. They just call fucking Quill fat. I'm like, damn. <laughs> damn. I mean, they ain't wrong. <laughs> You're one donut away from being fat. Hey. All right, so anyone else? Mm. Uh, favorite I mean, Thanos I mean, and Gamora. That was really good. I agree. Yeah, I was saying that's a joke. Shit. It it, it was that, good though. I mean, it, we. Yeah, I love the part when he just threw his partner right off the cliff to I death. Mean, you can, My I favorite can say part. it. 
You can say everyone <laughs> fell for them. Oh. Kill yourself. Kill oh yourself. Someone kick his ass. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh, Banished. Man. I do like the Spider-Man, Iron Man, and the Doctor Strange pairing, all because Spider-Man throughout the entire pairing was referencing alien movies. <laughs> oh yeah. When I heard that, I'm like, oh shit, it's fucking Civil War all over again with the hold movies. Hold on, hold on. The favorite part was when Tony Stark made him an Avenger and you saw the gleam in his eyes. And then right <laughs> when he turned to death, he had nothing in his eyes. Damn. That was my funniest part. Well, he was dying, so there was no choice. Technically Damn. dying. It's gonna Again, be awkward. reality. It's gonna be awkward when Tony he has to go back to Aunt May to tell him her kid turned to dust. Yo, I bet Aunt May is his booty call. What the? Well, you might be right about that, actually. Shit. Mm -hmm. Like, fucking be... uh, Homecoming or, or fucking... He was trying to get that ass in the uh, Civil War, too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. um, let's move on to number six. Um, wait, I just said number six. Come Loki dying. Seven. Loki dying was the worst thing they could have done. <laughs> Loki dying was the worst thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, so Crit seven. Critique some things that you didn't like about the film, which could Loki have been dying. done better. The Hulk. Um, mm, the Hulk was yeah, really Hulk. bad. Mm. No, it was fun watching him more being Hulk. a little bit. No, after that, Hulk. like, we could have used more Hulk, like, him yeah. fighting at least with the Avengers. Yeah. It was funny when he was arguing with Banner. It's so weird that you said that because supposedly in the Incredible Hulk movie, we're led to believe that Banner can control him, so him arguing makes no sense. Yeah. Unless that ass whooping was way too great, then, and it was, so go figure. I mean, that knows now how to fight. Like, he knows how to box. You see him throw punches? Mm hmm. Um, I would say criticism. Criticism. The movie is very fast paced, so I would implore people if you don't know anything about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, then don't watch this movie because it's some stuff that they don't explain shit. They jump right in. I heard people like that though. Yeah, some people like it, but some people say, oh, I'm lost. I don't know what's going on. I never seen X, Y, and Z movie, so I don't know who this character is, etc. Yeah. yeah I true. mean they I mean they do even reference stuff like from Thor Ragnarok and Guardians Volume Two. Mm -hmm. But yeah, even like the newest film Black Panthers mentioned and that's not even out on Blu ray yet. Yep. They had Wakanda, so if you don't know anything about Black Panther, you're going to be lost. I wonder since now uh T'Challa's gone, uh, in the comics uh, sure, he becomes a new Black Panther. Mm, it's possible because wasn't that a joke in Black Panther? Like, she yeah. says, Oh, uh, I want to fight Chitala, and she's like, Oh, it's too fucking hot. I'm just, I just want to get this over with. Yeah, he'll, she'll yeah. probably have like a suit that has like the strength and stuff, but it won't be actually, Oh, you drank the fruit thing. Um, I mean, but also, Mbaku's still there, and he's probably the second strongest. Yeah, that's true. He's alive. So is that it for question number seven? I mean, I mean, it's hard I only... to critique it. It's really hard because it's a really good movie. It's really, yeah. yeah. I, I only said I only said the Hulk one was like my only critique about it. Like it could have done better. It might be a nitpick, but I kind of wish Spider Man would have gotten more time to shine because, like I said, he is kind of a jobber. Yeah, that's another thing. Like. If you expect your favorite characters to get a lot of screen time in this movie, it's not going to happen because it's so much going on. True. Yeah. Uh, so, I, mean, Sp I mean, Spidey was just pretty much there for the ride. Yeah. Hey, hey at least, you know, when he comes back alive, he's the, part of the Avengers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tony can't take it back now. Nope. <laughs> And he's like, I remember what you said, Mr. Stark. You can't take it back. You fucked up, Mr. Stark. <laughs> oh, you know what? That, how much you would have bet he's going to say that when he comes back? It's like, I, I had my fingers crossed the whole time. He's going to say that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we can move on to number eight. So what are Spider-Man your... will remember that. What are your opinions on the soul world that Thanos saw at the end of the movie with a child Gamora? 
Um, That's his conscious. Yeah, I think she's gonna come back and haunt him to remind him was it worth it, shit like that, and then that's, what, that's gonna that's set what up. It is? Yeah, because uh, supposedly she's dead, but her soul still exists her... inside of the stone. Yeah. Oh, also, okay. hey, by the way, I'm back. Um, we're on <laughs> no, um, number eight, sir. I, I, I was here. Yeah. But yeah, when she was kicked down via proverbial well, that's when she uh, she was technically sacrificed from a stone, so she's trapped there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's it's weird because it's like some people might think, oh, well, she's dead for good. Why is the child here? So I think that's just to haunt Thanos for the rest of eternity. Yeah, it's probably just one of his, it's probably just his conscience getting to him. Mm -hmm. Anyone else with theories? No, going once, going twice. I'm I'm just gonna stick with the. I think it's the stone, and it's her kind of yeah. coming from stone, and basically showing her well, trying to guilt trip him. I think. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the. Uh, well, I think it's the pocket dimension that's you know the soul stone. I keep wondering, like, what the hell does the soul the soul stone and the mind stone even do? The mind stone. They can be manipulated to control and, yeah, intelligence. Yeah, so that was Loki's yeah. scepter in uh, the first Avengers. And you can mind control oh. people. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Didn't yeah, that happen yeah, to yeah. fucking Hawkeye? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I see now. Hawkeye and Selvig, yeah. And then the Soul Stone is... What does that do? Uh, the Soul Stone essentially allows you... It, it, it's weird how they've implied it, but essentially allows you to control life itself it's fucking weird hmm now i can see why question number eight sort of makes sense with the theories um Man. so let's move on to question number nine is there a standout scene or line that you remember the most from this film shut up Spoiler. yeah that <laughs> uh, fucking let me think uh i i think i think seeing peter I think seeing Peter get like as the uh, Iron Spider suit was coming to him, and then right as he, you know, right as he catches it, swinging back in. I think <laughs> mine was uh... a <laughs> goodbye, morons. Uh, goodbye, oh, morons. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, morons. No, I just remembered. It was when Black Panther was trying to say to uh, his friend, "This is no place to die," and then he just dies. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> nice dark reference there. All right. Uh, I, I like the whole scene with um, Doctor Strange and Tony Stark at the beginning where he's like, are you touching that fucking cauldron right there? And then the suit, the little cape Cauldron smacks of the him. cosmos. But, yeah, cauldron yeah. of the cosmos and the suit or the cape or whatever the fuck it is smacks him. Yeah. Like, I, I will allow that. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, he, he's lucky he then turned the cape to dust. <laughs> hey, I'm Doctor Strange. Oh, so we're making, so we're using made-up name now. I'm Spider-Man. <laughs> Another good line. Uh, every single, I, I like the scene with Thor and the giant star where like Peter Dinklage is like, oh well, this thing will kill you, and Thor's like, yeah, I'm expecting that, and he said, oh well, that's exactly what I mean. This thing will kill you, or something yeah. to that context. Paraphrased. Yeah. I like I like that scene where Star Lord calls Thanos ball section. He called him Grimace too, which is a McDonald's <laughs> character. He does kind of look like the Grimace. And before Thanos, the next McDonald's mascot. <laughs> that would be fucking funny. And McDonald's will get more like money. If, Thanos looks like if Grimace got bullied a little too hard. Be yeah. careful who you called ugly in high school. Well, it, it, it's he's grimace if he can actually fight. Wasn't he? He just got more purple every film. He hit the gym, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, that Thanos, whoever played him, worked mm. out. That's uh, Josh Brolin, I believe. He's also yep. Cable. And Goddamn! God yeah, he's side really doing work. Oh, Ren, side question. Sure. What happened to the Nova Corpse? Um, uh, I'm pretty sure... Thanos got the power gem from destroying that planet Xandar. Yeah, Xandar is at least 50% 50, 50, yeah, 50 destroyed. Yep, so the Nova Corps is wrecked. And see, this Damn. also sets up for the, the Nova movie. It does. Because, I mean, if if they decide to make the Nova film in the next 20 years somehow, 
you can reference it back to that's like a scene where it actually happens and have Thanos in there destroying shit and have um uh Richard Ryder's the original get like his power yeah. sent to him. It's yeah. No of his power's a little fucking weird. Man, twenty years is just really far to think into. I'm just I mean, I just don't have a number there. And they have like Marvel movies coming out from twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty five, so it's gonna yeah, be a man. long list of movies. And where's yeah. DC at with their movies? Oh. Uh we got Aquaman this year. It's cool. MIA. No one talked yeah. about it or if there's yeah. no trailers. No trailers, only one film this year, and then Shazam next year. Which what, what? Is, oh. Yeah. Well, so um, weird. That see, what, Black weird Adam's is, not gonna be there. Weird. Shazam is a Captain Marvel movie that's coming out one month after Captain Marvel. So we have Captain Marvel coming out after Captain Marvel, which is coming out before Captain Marvel. <laughs> that's weird Wrap how you think about it, but it's true. Well, hold on, yeah. so Captain Marvel's coming out before before Captain Marvel. Oh. Yes. Or as like there's Shazam, yes. Yeah. God so, damn. That's the joke yeah. because uh, fucking Shazam used to be called Captain Marvel. Bam. And Shazam's coming out after Captain Marvel. You know. Yep. Shazam's one month gonna... after. Mm-hmm. Shazam's gonna flop. Watch. Yeah. When if if it actually makes it there. It's gonna flop. Like Zachary because... Levi, but yeah, no, this is this is gonna be a train wreck. It's but... gonna flop because everyone will be happy to see Spider-Man back in big screen. <laughs> that's that's a month later. That's a month after Shazam. Yeah, it's a month after. A month after Captain Marvel two, uh, subtitle Shazam. It's still sandwiched pretty bad between yeah. two really anticipated movies. Yeah. Um, but yeah. at any least, go ahead. I was gonna say, I guess we could move on to the next question. Uh, sure. You can. You want to read that? Yeah, sure. What are your thoughts on the post-credit sequence from Infinity War? But yeah, I was kind of, I, I was, I was kind of expecting them to hint at Captain Marvel at some point, considering the movie's coming out the next year and before Avengers Four. But I, I was, I was expecting Nick Fury to bite the dust, though. I like, they took him away. Fuck him. I, I, fuck him. I like. I like how his last words were mother fuck and then he turns to dust. Yeah, I was gonna say yep. that, like they made fun of uh Sam Jackson's most signature line. But <laughs> it was censored. Yeah. Yeah. Hollywood censoring. Um, as good she's coming, uh I am curious to see if the movie is gonna be really good and if it sets up because supposedly Captain Marvel is going to be a prequel. And uh, yep, it's in the 90s, yes, in the 90s. Thank so, I'm wondering how God all work. time, yeah. Um, I, I'm interested to see, especially because see, I the original theory I had about Infinity War and why they kind of kept the sequel title hush hush mm-hmm. was because at the end of this film, I thought somebody was going to die and it was going to turn out they were a scroll, that... which Captain Marvel is going to have scrolls in the film, yes, it's like the big bads. So I was thinking it was going to go from the 90s, everybody sort of being implanted with the scroll and all that until Avengers 4 was going to be um, Secret Wars. Yeah. Or Secret Invasion. Secret Invasion. Mm -hmm. That's what I was expecting, and I was proven completely fucking wrong. Yeah, I think uh, that pager, whatever the fuck, that's going to uh, set up the events (laughs) for Avengers 4. I thought that was funny that it was a pager, but then I remembered that the uh, Captain Marvel movie's on the 90s. Yeah. Well, you could have got one of those, like, fucking old-school brick cell phones. Huh? You know, the, like, the pocket kind. You had to grab the phone, you press the buttons, and when you press, like, you know, the call button, you hope that it works. You mean the cell phones that are bigger than your head? Yeah. I hate those. You could swing those bastards. <laughs> Kill someone. Yeah. I'll pull out the antenna and just swing for fences. All right, so anyone else, uh, any opinions on number 10? Um, I, I, thought it was, I thought it was a great way to end the film. It showed the larger context of what was happening in the world. Yes, yeah. where everyone was, like, dying. Yeah, well, well, some people were dying, and they were looking and just like, what the fuck is going on? And then people around them turning to dust. It, and I'm glad we didn't go a little hokey and have the car playing Dust in the Wind by Kansas beforehand. What? Yeah, I, was about, I was about to say, half of them are dying, right? Not everyone is dying. Yeah, Not everyone, half, but, half. 
you also have to think about it like this. You know, you have car crashes. You have, uh, we saw a helicopter crash. So right. it's going to be a little bit over half because if, you know, if those people are dying and they're taking out people on the ground who aren't dying from Thanos' thing, I'm going to say a little over half on Earth because yeah. people are fucking going to get in accidents. People fucking, the pilot dying in like a fucking airplane. I well, thought yeah. that was a really great way to show like the seriousness of what's happening there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was pretty much mass chaos. It, it reminded me of. Um, did you ever see a TV show, The Leftovers, on HBO? Nope. There's um, there's a really great scene. The opening minutes. It, it's a it's a TV show sort of about the Rapture. I'm not going to spoil that show because different spoiler thing here. But uh, the opening scene is. Um, like two, like about a minute before it happens, and suddenly, you know, uh, this woman's baby disappears, and car crashes into another car, and both of them are gone. That kind of shit. It reminded me of that. It reminded me of just like this very calm before a storm, and then just it fucking happened, kind of thing. Uh, so essentially, everything's fucked. Yeah. Yep. Cap- All right. So Captain Marvel's gonna fuck that shit up. All right. It's open. So we're going to move on to um, question number 11. Are you perfectly fine with the notion of Thanos winning in this movie? Absolutely. Yes. yes. Hell, yes. hell fucking yes. It had to happen or else people would be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> Just I mean, imagine Thanos, the other way around. Thanos getting Marvel, beaten. Uh, I said this before, Marvel had the balls yeah. in this right. movie. They should have just made it where, like... Where they should have just made it where Star Lord like beats him up and then Thanos is done. <laughs> He's like, Yeah, you beat up my girlfriend. Uh, I really needed that green pussy, so uh, I'm mad. There you go. Time to commit to fucking time to bust my in law up. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah, I was I was impressed with him actually, you know, having the kind of balls to just go nuts, you know. I mean. Yep. Thanos didn't 100% win, considering he was mortally wounded. That's true. Uh, he should have gone for the head. Thor is in like way, MVP. In a way, though, his plan, is, which is what he wanted to do, has... It, it, he won that. There's, there's no need for him to do anything else after this. He I, did what he was going for. I have a side question. Anyone thought the ending was so fucking funny? Like, Thanos was like on a planet. He was watching some trees, some birds, just sitting there, like relaxing and smiling. I'm like, <laughs> the funny thing that is that is, in the comics, he becomes a farmer after. Like, yeah. Whoa, what the fuck? You're gonna see Thanos know. farming in the next movie, making carrots and shit. That'd be. It, it, it'd be, be better than watching. If you, it'd be better. Ah, fuck! I can't speak English. It'd be better than him watching. You know, like a like let's playing Farmville or some kind of shit. You know. <laughs> Thanos' hands are too big to use a mouse, though. <laughs> well, you give all those custom-made little things, right? Yeah, make us computer I, talk. I, they'd have like PUBG if, next. If they had any, if they had like the nuttiest kind of like fuck it, let's just do what we want for the last film, and they just have five hours of Thanos farming, <laughs> and that's just a fucking I, movie. I, I, I want that thing. I want that Thanos far, the farmer spinoff movie. <laughs> And the hypest part is he's gonna feed the pigs. You gotta watch him till, and, and he's kind of like a Bob Ross painting, kind of you know, <sighs> him teaching how far. You just you, you slowly till. You don't go too fast, but slowly till. Oh, that would, that would imply Bob Ross will have competition. <laughs> I'd fucking watch that shit. I had to. Oh god, okay, yeah. Play, play that on a video. <laughs> <laughs> Why he even farm. has a Thanos armor as a scarecrow? He's like, I'm done. Time, I time, rel- time I want to tend to my, my crabs. Time to cultivate Man. my children. I want to tend to my crabs. Man, Marvel just does some weird shit sometimes. Hey, this is funny. That ending was hilarious. Because <laughs> like, everyone was, like, shocked. But, but, but Aquaman, though, man. No, that is irrelevant, sir. <laughs> Damn. All right, so let's move on to the final question. Bane, do you want to read that? Uh, what are your speculations for the next post? Uh, I'm, I'm going to word this a little bit differently. Is that okay? Go on. Uh, what is your speculations for the next film post uh, Avengers 4? 
That's that's a question I want to ask. Um, All right, you want to hear mine? Go. Yep. Go. <laughs> uh, Captain Marvel is going to have 114 inch <laughs> futa dick that what she's going to no swear. God damn it! <laughs> this I knew uh, you were okay. going to say that. Okay, okay, Shad man. All right. <laughs> oh, uh, that. <laughs> okay. Shadman is not a bad man. Okay, everyone. Podcast ruined. Go home. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, talk, talk I, I guess uh, my speculation is I think, you know, supposedly it's supposed to be the second Spider Man MCU film. Which, one, currently, without some retconning or some time fuckery, is going to be a very weird film without Spider Man in it. Uh, Wait, what movie? Uh, the next one's uh, Spider-Man Two after oh. Avengers Four. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know how the fuck that's gonna work unless we get him back, or if they decide to actually do the Miles guessing, Morales thing. I'm guessing it's either one of the two. Um, um I think hmm. they're going to sow the seeds for the Fox movies because, I mean, I think when they fuck with time, with the time stone or whatever, to bring people back. Then yeah. they'll probably say shit like, "Oh, we discovered this new mutant gene that's never been in this timeline before. That would be the perfect way to put in X Men, for example, or maybe like have uh, Doctor Doom." Okay, all right, I have an idea here, huh? and I will, I will, every single one of you, a hundred dollars, if this is uh, if this is actually right. I'll pay you guys if this is right. Oh, free money! Uh, yeah, Cred- credits roll, all right? Mm-hmm. But a final scene, it goes dark. We don't think there's gonna be an end credit scene, and then we start to see the armor of Galactus. Ooh, that would be yeah. extremely hype. Ooh, I would probably yeah. lose my money. That would but be. No. I, I will pay you each a hundred dollars on this fucking call right now Ooh. if that's real. I, that's okay. what I want. I don't think but it'll no, happen. But no, no the real ending is gonna be. It's gonna segue to Deadpool, and he goes back in time, telling Marvel not to sign the movie deal with Fox. Oh, <laughs> you know they recently okay. had something where like they couldn't make too many Disney jokes. Oh, uh, well, that, that's that's because I think Fox wants to keep him in good graces right now. Just like, oh yeah, yeah let's that's not what rock I thought. the boat. Let's. Uh, but they have no problem and... like fucking ostracizing the MCU, so. I mean, not the MCU. Yeah, the MCU and the DCEU. Well, the DCEU's a joke in among itself itself right now. We're not trying to cover up a mustache here. Oh my god. (laughs) That was fucking great. Alright, I'm gonna leave early. Subscribe, submarine, subloblerm to me. Ebullient Evan, Evan, not Ebola. Ebola is what I hope you all catch. Bye, you little shits. <laughs> Bye, sir. Um, what a weird character. I gotta chuckle at that. Moving on. I, I, I remember he made another DCU joke based on one of the characters in Deadpool. And it was in the trailer, too. Yeah, it was it was Cable when you are talking yeah. about the DC Universe. That joke. So dark. <laughs> You're part of the DCEU Universe. Oh, man. Um, Let's see. I think, though, you know, the next film probably will be uh, like kind of a return to form, like a slow down, kind of, you know, relax a little bit more. Kind of like how I think Homecoming was. It was certain, certainly more of like a relaxed, like, okay, we're we're here, let's take it easy. I Not think... stakes for universe kind of shit. I think now they're saying that uh, they kind of want people to take a break, a breather from Avengers because of what happened in Infinity War. Uh, so, I, I think a breather would be nice, but I do think eventually they need to introduce someone that is, like, on Thanos' level that can fight the future Avengers. Because, I mean, if you add the X-Men and then Doctor Doom or Fantastic Four, at a certain point you need a new villain because I'm pretty sure Thanos is going to be defeated eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which yeah. means we can get Galactus. Yup. And hopefully we can get. Ah, no. Fuck you. I was gonna mention that, but no. No, yeah. But even then, can't only somebody at uh, a cosmic level beat Galactus like Silver Surfer? Not necessarily. I think. It, it really it depends on the writer with the comics, let's be fair. 
I think True. the surfer is his keeper, if I'm not too mistaken, right? The surfer is who... Like, he serves okay. Galactus, right? Yes, yeah. but not of his own free will. Oh, okay, I see. Normally, in most of the comics, it's because he threatens a planet that his love is on, so he... It's... You know, Rise of Silver Surfer was actually very accurate with that plot point. Which is fucking weird. Which is too bad that Galactus was reduced to purple smoke. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't want that smoke. Oh, the way you said that just is hilarious. Yeah, just look, look at this fucking thing. This is all because uh, current Sony film CEO Tom Rothman didn't think people would believe a giant, like, actual Galactus. He looks like a and giant... And now he works for Sony... Now he works for Sony Pictures. He looks like a giant fart in this picture, so... Oh! Speaking of Sony Pictures, I would like to add a bonus question because Ooh. of this recent news. Uh, how do you feel about Venom not being in the MC MCU? Mm, dumb. Uh, so dumb. It's, I think it's, it's just... really, really stressful. Yeah. How does... It's... Can someone tell me how does Spider-Man movies work without Spider-Man in this verse. There's some where I think Venom can hold the most without Spider-Man, probably. Yeah, but then they're yeah. doing, like, Black Cat the, next. Yes. Now uh, that, they won't make sense. I, I, well, yeah, Silver, no. Silver and Black is supposed to be, like, a heist film. Like, no! That's gonna flop. That's it's just flop. them trying... It's the. It's just them trying to make their own universe. But sometimes it won't work! Especially not Black Cat. No. I'm they pretty sure be. Bane knows this, but I think they tried to do this shit with Amazing Spider-Man 2, right? They they did, yeah. The Sinister oh. Six. Oh. They, they failed yeah. on that. I'm pretty sure that they're doing Sinister Six for MCU since they hinted oh. at that. Oh, oh no. They well, okay. separation that could, anxiety. That could work in sort of in a film, but unless they have writers that have never touched Sony Pictures, and if they keep Avi Arad off the fucking film, it might be kind of decent. Oh, but that guy is making a Metal Gear movie, so that's another story. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I, I now don't want to see that. <laughs> Wait, see what? The Metal Gear um, movie by Avi Arad? That's happening? It, yes. Oh, no. But yeah, no, um, Avi Arad is the producer of such wonderful films as Bratz and Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer <laughs> and Ghost Rider and, uh, and Bratz again, because that is that is a fucking movie. Bratz? Uh, Bratz. He also produced Man-Thing and Elektra and Blade Trinity and the 2004 Punisher film, which is okay, but still. And then the Ang Lee Hulk movie. Mm, that movie was so boring to me. I I, I don't know how I people liked it. The Ang Lee Hulk movie is a really good alternative to Ambient. It's like, yeah, you want to see the Hulk walking around the entire movie than be my guest. I mean, I'd rather have an entertaining bad film than a boring one. Mm. But Amazing Spider-Man was like Amazing Spider-Man Two was not entertaining. That's the last film of a Spider-Man series he's produced, and the next one's Venom. Ooh. Uh, well, all I can say yeah. is, uh, I mean, the trailer that came out, it looked pretty cool, but I don't know. In the we long run, gotta, I, we still gotta wait and see. Yeah. I'll be nervous. I'll be cautiously optimistic. But yeah, um, it, yeah. Originally, Venom was supposed to be part of the Spider-Man verse, was well, Spider Verse, uh, and then Sinister Six and uh, Silver and Black, they which. They tried yeah. to do a Venom spinoff after Spider-Man 3 came out, but that never went anywhere. Topher Grace. Oh, man. Well, fuck. Well, can we, we can will we... roast Venom, like, at another time. I think we have to do <laughs> outros. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, who's so, going first? Uh, I'll go first. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at rentoperative underscore. You can find oh, me on... Oh, porn hub? Yeah, not at Pornhub. Uh, you can find me on YouTube at Renegade Operative. Uh, you can find me on Pornhub at Renegade Operative. I, I thought you could find you at uh, Renegade Bukake. No. No, sir. You are a bad man. Oh. Bukake Operative. Uh, my bad, right? Bukake oh. Operative. 
Ren, you have that X video account. I just noticed. No, fuck you. <laughs> so, who wants to go next? Uh, I'll go next. Yeah. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, on Twitch, and YouTube at Reapers240. Bitch. That was well funny. Hmm. That's it. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Bane for you with a Y U at the end. Probably best way to do it. Okay, I guess I'll go. go you ahead. can find me Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Google World Order, and as Reapers heard me say it in the you know another podcast. <laughs> Fuck, Fighting Layer EX. Damn, roasted. That game's gonna be trash. Well, you can find me at Twitter at Drone with seven seven seven. And is that it? Yeah. All right, we're gonna wrap up, and uh, we will see you guys later. Hopefully, you enjoyed this crazy Infinity War discussion, and uh, we look forward to the next movie. We might. It depends. I, I don't know about Ant Man and the Wasp. I want to see it. I'm, but... I'm gonna go see it. We, I want to see Deadpool yeah. too. Yeah, we we might talk about that next. That's in like two oh. months. So that's not next. But actually, this month Deadpool two is next month. Well, this oh month. yeah. Wait, 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 when when? Uh, Deadpool um, two is May eighteenth, right? Somewhere yes, around there. Yes, I believe so. Oh, okay, okay, just in time. I I have my tickets, so we can talk about that too. Well, you also got uh, a Han Solo movie coming out. No. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Star Wars, no. I mean, the visuals look nice. So I'll give it that. One, one thing, one thing I don't like Disney doing is running that series. I'm That's interested because I, I like the uh, I like a lot of the actors in it, but you know, director changing twice, uh, rewrites on scripts. That's not a great sign. Also, Han Solo's actor needing an acting coach. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, we we have a quick minute. I, I can talk about. Um, did you guys ever see the movie Hail Caesar? There was